Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're working with a three-way switch. and I'm going to show you the whole process for how to set one of these up and get it working properly. So we are at switch location number one. Now you always want to bring your power into the first box and then uh, take a 14-3 wire which is going to go from the first box to the second box location. This is just for two locations. For In this case it's a staircase. Uh, so what we have here is uh, the neutrals are already tucked back in the box and, and wired together as you can see right there. And it's required now that neutral must be present at each three-way switch location. So this is the kind of the uh, gold standard for how to do this now. Uh, so we've got our, our power wire to the box and here we have our two wires that go to our second switch location from our 14-3. Now your power is going to hook on to the common. So right here we have one black screw and then we have two gold, sc gold screws and those are called the travelers. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hook uh, the power coming into the box to the black screw. Next we're going to take and uh, connect the traveler wires, one to each side here, to the two gold terminals. It doesn't matter which one, which color goes to which side. Always make sure you bend your loops on your the hooks in the direction that the, that the screw turns, so that as you tighten the screw down, it also tightens the wire around the screw instead of loosening it, if that makes sense. And finally connect your ground wire. So now we're going to go ahead and push this back into the box and we're going to do our best to fold these wires in an orderly fashion up and then back down again. Make sure you keep your ground wire away from your hot terminals. You always want to push your outlet all the way into place like so and make sure that it's going to push in okay before you put the screws in because uh, otherwise you could tighten something up too tight against something inside of there. So now we're going to go ahead and attach this in place. And you just get it snug so that these ears are resting on the drywall and uh, that it doesn't move back and forth. But you need, don't need to over tighten these by any stretch of the imagination. Now there is no on or off position for a three-way switch so it doesn't really matter how you leave that. Now we're going to move to location two at the top of the stairs. All right, so here we are at the top of the steps. Here are those two travelers that we just finished hooking up uh, downstairs to those gold terminals. And right here is the wire that goes to the stair, the stair light as well as the basement lights in this case. So uh, we are going to go ahead and hook these up. Uh, again, the two travelers are going to be hooked onto these two wires coming from the 14-3 wire from the bottom of the steps and then the common wire is going to go to the lights. So we're going to go ahead and get these hooked up here now. Hook up the ground. Got the rest of these hooked up already. Again the orientation of this switch, the way you push it in here, it doesn't really matter. So two travelers here and here and then on the top right here is the wire going to the light. Now the way this works basically there's al always power on one of the two traveler legs and it's kind of confusing to wrap your head around it at first um, but you, you'll kind of get the hang of it. If you want to know more about how a three-way switch works in general I'm gonna do my best to get a video up on that just kind of explaining how that functions. So I'll put a, a link uh, either on the screen here or in the description. So there we have it. We're going to just snug these up here a little bit and then we will uh, turn the power on and see if we succeeded. Alright, so we got the power back on now. So hopefully when I flip this switch the lights come on, which they do. So now at the bottom of the stairs here if our three-way switch is set up correctly, we should be able to control it from here. Which looks like it's working just fine. If this video helped you out, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe down below. And hit that little bell icon if you want to be notified about my future videos. Again, thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you in the next video.